Another crazy easter egg has been sold in Dying Light, this time giving us access to the dark side of the force. And no, I'm not joking, after completing this easter egg you will literally be able to force choke your enemies, leaving them hanging in midair while you wind up for a swing with your weapon. Plus the location where you get this is pretty special too, so we have a lot to discuss here. First, a quick introduction though, as I can imagine some of you are being caught off guard by a new voice. Hi everyone, I'm Dennis, I work full time for the channel, mostly recording footage and doing research for videos, but from time to time I also do some of the voiceover. But yeah, this special Dying Force weapon is crafted from a blueprint and like with the other easter egg weapons we found so far, we need 369 scrap to make it, which is quite a lot. We do have a nice trick to collect a lot of scrap which we'll cover in a bit. And then once crafted you will have 16 uses of this Force ability, which you by the way slot as an accessory similar to throwing knives. And unfortunately it does break after 16 uses, so you're using a lot of scrap for something you can't use very often. But then again, we're force choking people in dying light, which is awesome and I'm not going to complain. And one thing to note about the Dying Force is that it only seems to work on human enemies. I tried using it against infected and while they do flinch when hit, they don't get lifted in the air like human enemies do. Against humans though, it's actually a great ability for crowd control. Enemies will be lifted in the air, unable to do anything and even lieutenants in bandit camps aren't immune to it. It's even possible to lift multiple people at once if you get lucky and you can combo it with a power attack if you want to. My favorite thing to do though is force choke someone and then drop kick them. Like, I don't think this will ever get old. And to make sure you never have to stop using it either, there's a very nice trick to buy a lot of scrap very quickly, but this is only usable while there are still vendors available in the bazaar. Without spoiling anything, certain story choices can lead to the bazaar being evacuated, but as long as that hasn't happened yet, you can still use this tactic. And it is really, really simple. Talk to the craftmaster, buy out all of his scrap, then walk out the front door. If you leave the bazaar area, then turn around and come back, and you will find that the vendor inventory has restocked so you can buy more scrap, walk out again, come back, rinse and repeat until you have enough. And if this tactic no longer works you can always do a quick supply run like windmills and facilities will often have vendors next to them so just make a quick run past them every so often and use them to stock up on scrap. Before we move on to explain how to actually get the blueprint for the Dying Force, if you liked the video so far it would be awesome if you could leave a like on it and if you don't want to miss our next Dying Light video remember to subscribe as well. Alright then, our first step in activating this easter egg is finding 5 black ducks hidden throughout the world. The first one can be found in Houndfield, so in the first part of the city in the swamps near the top corner of the map. There are a lot of chemicals in this area so watch out for those but in between two trees is a circle of human remains with a black duck with a hat sitting in the middle. Pick it up, you should hear a sound cue for every one of these as well and then it's time to move on to the next one. Which is located in the wharf. This one is pretty close to the GRE anomaly over here on the map so just travel there, climb on top of the safe room which has the inhibitor in it, then jump over the fence and into the water. We're looking for a sunken police car here so we can lockpick the back trunk and then grab our second duck. Moving on to the third, we want to travel close to the metro station in the lower dam air and then climb the bridge. If you look roughly to the south from here you can spot an area with a lot of chemicals and then either use your paraglider to fly or just swim there and you will find another duck just chilling on top of a human skull. Probably best not to leave him there so pick him up and let's move on to number 4. This one is located close to the observatory, a location you visit during the main story as well. The area surrounding it is once again covered in chemicals, so take care on your way over. Once you made your way to the front gate, climb the truck, then turn around and climb the barrier. And once you did that, the duck is located on the tower to your left. I used the grappling hook to get on top, although I don't think you technically need it, but once you've climbed the tower, you can find our fourth duck chilling next to some candles. Pick it up and then move on to the final one and for this one we want to head to the VNC tower and we want to head all the way to the top of this building. Which will be a lot easier if you've already completed the main mission broadcast as after completing that the elevators in the building will be active so we can just take that to the top. Head straight left out of the elevator and then you can see an opening in the barrier on the side of the building. Go over there, walk to the edge and then turn around and from there you should be able to see some open windows and that's where we want to land. So jump off and immediately activate your paraglider to land into the room. There is some other stuff to pick up here if you want, but for the duck we want to head straight to the safe in the bookcase to our left. Enter 666 as the code to the safe, open it and grab the final duck. 
Now, with these five ducks collected, it's time to actually activate the Easter egg. For this, we want to head to the basement of the VNC building by using the elevator just like we did for the final duck. Then, just follow the pot until you reach water, take your first right underwater and then follow that pot until you get out of it again. There, you want to go to the door on the right that is slightly ajar. At the end of this hallway is an elevator, take it, go down and find a very ominous looking room. Don't worry about that though, we're almost at the end of the Easter egg. So first, we want to place the ducks on the pedestals in the room. Simple as that, but the next step is a bit trickier. Because as you've probably already seen, behind each of the duck pedestals is a power line and a power input. And we want to use these power lines to draw a pentagram to activate the easter egg. So, when you enter the room, there are two shrines close to you, which we're going to call front left and right. Then two further into the room, which we're going to call far left and right. And one at the back of the room, opposite from where you enter, which we're going to call middle. Then, all you need to do is follow this exact sequence. Connect front right to far left, far left to far right, far right to front left, front left to middle, and then middle back to front right. And then if you did it correctly, a shotgun should appear in the middle of the room which you can use and activate the Doom Combat Challenge. And this one is absolutely crazy, even crazier than the one that has you flying around on a broomstick as it shifts the whole game to a more pixelated look, the music changes and it gives you a shotgun with infinite ammo to blast zombies with. The objective here is to find and gather as many of these crystals before the time runs out, but there is something even cooler to find within this easter egg. Which is easy enough to find if you know where to look. So from spawn we want to take the whole way to our right and then just keep progressing through the rooms. As soon as we reach this room with a sort of zigzag walkway in the middle, we move on, but we stick close to the right wall of the hallway. At a certain point a use button prompt should appear and if you press it it will allow you to open the wall to reveal a secret room. And then in the middle of this secret room is one of the crystals you need for the mission and beneath it the blueprint for the dying force. And it's very important that you pick up everything you want in this easter egg before you leave as it is possible for the elevator to bug out like it is in my game. This seems to trigger when you fast travel out of this room which I did and then when you come back the elevator is broken. Like I tried but the button to call it up doesn't seem to work so I can't access the easter egg anymore until this gets fixed. So before you leave the room by using the elevator of course, get the maximum score in the challenge for the combat XP and also grab the second blueprint for the mistress sword. Which is on a box in this corridor very close to where you find the secret room with the force choke. And before we wrap things up, thanks to DPJ on YouTube and Daddy Pockets on Reddit for the locations of the ducks and thanks to Ashes Wolf as well for the footage of that second blueprint. That's all for now, remember to leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next one and if you want you can watch our previous video on some leaked new armors and more info on the post-launch plan. Thanks everyone so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!